Widowmaker 16, Dick Shooter Champion of the World, the real Headshot Master. Hi! Uh, hey guys, it's uh, Widowmaker 16 here. Um, your shirtless commentator. Uh, I won't be shirtless much longer, guys. Uh, me and my brother are working on making a shirt for me. And uh, if you guys like it, I can see about making some and selling them to y'all. Like a boss. <laughs> um, anyways, guys. So uh, today I'm going to go into my history of gaming and a few of the ups and downs I've had with gaming. Um, see, I was about, I think I was five or six when I got my first game. Uh, it was a PlayStation 2. I got a bunch of games for it, but uh, the ones that stuck out for me were Call of Duty, of course, and the Grand Theft Auto titles. I mean, uh, what are you going to do, right? Um, anyways... So what I really, what really got me into gaming a lot was uh, Call of Duty 2, Big Red 1, and um, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Like those two games right there. If it, those are the two games that got me addicted to gaming. Actually, I uh, I remember one time uh, I gamed for three days, didn't come up for air once. Um, so after that, I thought about it and I thought I needed to cut back a little bit. So I did, and there was a period of time when I didn't game at all, then I got back into it, and it was just like every day I had to have it, had to have it, you know, it was like a drug, and then I cut back, you know, and I didn't game, and then I got back into it, and well, here we are now. Um, I didn't game for a while because I didn't have internet, and I just, I've played so many games, and if you play one Call of Duty, you've played them all, or if you've played one Grand Theft Auto, you've played them all, you know. And, uh, I just, I got tired of not being able to play with my friends and stuff, so I just, they quit playing for a while until I got internet again. So, since I have internet again, I lost my job, so now I'm going to YouTube full-time, as you guys know. But, uh, I guess, like, I guess I don't know how to say it, uh, I'm back into it every day, you know? Most of the day, anyways, uh, I gotta clean my room so me and my brother can get a studio set up in here. So, yeah, I worked on that a little bit yesterday and today, but I'm gonna get some more work on it. Actually, I'm gonna get it done today. Anyways, uh, I'm about to sell my truck. Possibly get a bike, but I don't know. Depends on how much it sells for. Because uh, if I only get like three, five for it or something like that, odds are most of that money is gonna go into a computer and a system. So, I mean, yeah, it'd be an expensive uh, business investment, but it'd be a smart one. So, yeah. Um, anyways, guys, I'm kind of lost for words right now. I'm just, I'm thinking about something that y'all would find interesting about my gaming history and what got me into gaming, but there ain't really much to say about it. I mean, just one day my dad got me a system and, you know, I've been in it ever since. That addiction, though. Um, one thing I do find interesting, though, is I was never good at school. I was never good with people, you know, but, like, gaming, man, that was something I was always good at. I've always been good at cooking and gaming and shooting and writing and driving and beatboxing. Well, I haven't always been good at beatboxing. I started that when I was, like, 10. And I just recently got fairly good at it, anyways. Um, so, I guess that's enough about me. Uh, I have some homework for y'all, or a challenge for y'all. I want y'all to, uh, leave a comment below telling me how you got into gaming and what your favorite games are. As you all know, mine's Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto, but y'all may have something different. So, I want y'all to tell me what got you started in gaming and what your favorite games are to play. You used to play are now, you know what I'm saying? Anyways... Widowmaker 16, I love you Sierra, I love you guys, y'all are my peeps, and I will see y'all in my next video, later.